Welcome everyone to another Minecraft tutorial. Recently I've been messing around with item elevators just a tad and I figured out a very slick, simple, resource friendly and silent design right here. And I'm not yet sure if anyone else came up with it first, but it is probable because it follows a very simple logic, but I still thought I want to share it with you guys. So, if we have a look behind the scenes, we can indeed see that we are not using a lot of redstone. Everyone can afford it, everyone can stack up torches like that, but the important part happens right here. This is also where we're gonna need a comparator, thus uh, we are gonna need some quartz. But let's have a look at the functionality very briefly. I'm gonna throw in half a stack of black wool. We will be hearing some initial clicking when we first use the machine, but after that it will remain silent forever and it will drag up the items about one item per second, as you can see. Once there are no more items for the machine to drag up, the system will stop, but we will be missing two items. The reason for that being is they're being held in this dropper and this one down here, and they will only move up in the system once we add some more items to this chest, or once our, for instance, mob farm produces some more items. If you want, you can also add a visual representation of the item flow by simply adding some redstone to the torches that are by default off, and you can simply drag it over, just like that, it will power this block next to our lamp. Thus, if we throw in some more wool, we will be seeing the progress of our items. So let's get on with the tutorial part. I already stacked up a bunch of droppers all facing upwards and finally into this chest. What we want to test first is how much redstone do we need to bring up items. So my first item is gonna go right here. Now what I figured is that we can have a block right here with a redstone torch on top of it and it will manage to activate this dropper as well as this one right here. So the item is gonna land in the third dropper. Now to activate this one, of course, we can simply use a block and it will go up one more. What we can do now is place the torch right here and of course it will go up one more and so on and so forth. Now unfortunately if we test that again and place an item in here we can already see it's not working. We would have to refresh this torch right here. Now it went up into this one but this one isn't active because this torch was already shut off when the item arrived here. So we will have some sort of a clock. Now the clock unfortunately will make sure that the droppers are going crazy and you will be hearing a lot of clicking sounds. So we only want the droppers to activate if there is an item in the initial dropper right here. So this condition we're gonna check with a comparator right here. The comparators of course are only active if we have an item right in there, as you can see. Now what we want to do is have a block right here and lead this into our first torch. We need to invert the signal once and have a repeater right here because redstone dust would connect to the comparator and not influence this block, so the repeater is necessary. Now, if we have an item in here, it will start the cycle, activate this torch and so on and so forth and we manage to get our black wool all the way up to this dropper with just this amount of redstone. Amazing. I stacked it all the way to the top, this is very simple to understand. What we need to know now is where our input is gonna be. So where our items are gonna come from, either from a chest or from our mob farm or whatever we want to do with it. We're gonna lead it into this dropper with a hopper, right there. I'm just gonna extend this by a little bit and place a chest on it, right there actually, so we can uh, have some tests later on. Now one thing that is very important is that we cannot have a lot of items in this dropper at the same time. Because if I did this, you can see it did it once and after that it will just clog up the system and it will not react anymore. I have to put in one item at a time for the system to work properly, as you can see. That simply means we have to prevent any items being deployed into this dropper before it is empty again. And of course we can take the same condition, the comparator, but contrary to this side, we don't want to invert the signal. So we're gonna simply take a redstone piece and a repeater facing this way. So as soon as this comparator goes on, 
we will be having a signal to this hopper and preventing any more items being deployed. Simple as that. So now if we place in a bunch of items, we should be seeing the system interact. And you can see that there is only one item at a time in this dropper. So exactly what we wanted. And that is basically all there is to it. And of course, once the system stops, just as now, there will be one item for every torch that is off that will still be waiting for its turn to go up. But as soon as there is more loot or drops coming into this chest, they will be going up. Of course you can stack this up as tall as you want and don't forget that you can have some indication lamps of the flow of your items if you really wanted to for all the torches that are off by default. Alright guys, this has been it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Other than that, have a great time and hopefully see you soon. Bye bye.